Hi folks, this is Peach Mario with the next video about how can we uh, improve the contributions to TeleWiki documentation. And with this video, I will have a closer look how we can uh, sign the contributor license agreement, which only has to be done once. Uh, so I click the li link here. Now I am at TeleWiki.com. Uh, so this is uh, TeleWiki. Um, and there are two types of licenses. There is the individual license and the entity license. Entities uh, is for companies. Yeah. The main text is basically the same. And as you can see, there are three the companies which signed it. It's Jeremy, then it's Google Inc. and uh, Brooke Ro Boyd. Um, yeah, so it's important if you uh, make contributions to DealWiki uh, with a company. Um, yeah, then then you have to use this one, and your company has to uh, allow it. The other one is the individual license, uh, yeah, which has the text which you should read once, and then you can see there are a lot of contributors already there, and I'm there. Uh, one important thing here is if you want to sign it, um, then you have to clone the repository and you have to select the branch tiddlywiki.com, which is the documentation branch. Everything which goes to the documentation branch, branch can be uh, merged directly and will be published directly. Everything which goes to master or main um, will have to wait until the next uh, official release. Yeah, so that's, that's important. Okay, so this is the file with the TeleWiki uh, within the TeleWiki repository, which is Germany in TeleWiki 5, and this is the license agreement. Yeah. Um, we have a look here, and we change to TeleWiki.com. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. So we go to Germolin, TeleWiki 5, the main page. Uh, if you click here. Then it's there. The default page is master, and we switch the page to TeleWiki.com. Yeah. Then we open the licenses, license, individual license, and then we can edit it. Yeah. Uh, to edit a license um, or to edit any file, I do have to have write access, and write access is only allowed for my own repository. That's why it says fork this project to be able to edit. Okay, I click it, then um, the whole project will be forked into my uh, uh, repository, yeah, which I created in the last video. Okay, then I scroll down to the different co uh, contributors. Um, I do already have one uh, signed, so but I, with TeleV I want to have another one, so that's really possible to create pull requests shown here in the in the videos, I say it in Mario goes to Tilly V and the date of today zero two twenty six allow Tilly V to submit PS. Okay. Uh, this is the Mario and Billy to create your pull requests shown in videos. Okay. So I will propose this change and hopefully Jeremy, Jeremy will merge it so that I can create pull requests um, using TeleV. Yeah? Um, the important part is we need to have the, the target repository, which is TeleWiki5 and TeleWiki.com, uh, uh, TeleWiki.com branch. And it automatically created uh, a branch uh, in the TeleV uh, account and it named it patch1. Yeah, and there is the change. And that's it. So I can say create pull request. 
um, then it um, uses the text that I uh, already already inserted and yeah should be everything should be okay uh, I create a pull request okay there it is yeah. uh, this is TLV the patch branch one now I'm at TLV TLV 5 then it says this repository has been forked uh, from Jeremy Telewiki 5 um, and with this uh, this repository I do have write access and the patch one branch licenses let's have a look individuals and if I scroll down there is this one yeah but it's not part of uh, the main Telewiki yet yeah because Jeremy has to merge it first Okay, yeah, that's basically it. How to create um, the or how to sign the co contributor license agreement. You should read it uh, once, yeah, then sign it, and then yeah, everything can start. You can start contributing to the Telewiki documentation or the Telewiki code. Yeah, have fun and see you in the next video um, where we'll create. Um, uh, GitHub personal access token, which will be needed here, yeah, so that the Telewiki app uh, directly can uh, create pull requests. So everything which I have done uh, manually uh, with the in this video uh, can then be done automatically from Telewiki. Yeah, uh, the titles that can be changed from Telewiki. Yeah, see you in the next video and have fun.